The New Age is a term applied to a range of spiritual or religious beliefs and practices that developed in Western nations during the 1970s. Precise scholarly definitions of the movement differ in their emphasis, largely as a result of its highly eclectic structure. Although analytically often considered to be religious, those involved in it typically prefer the designation of spiritual and rarely use the term New Age themselves. Many scholars of the subject refer to it as the New Age movement, although others contest this term believing that it gives a false sense of homogeneity to the phenomenon. As a form of Western esotericism, the New Age movement drew heavily upon a number of older esoteric traditions, in particular those that emerged from the occultist current that developed in the 18th century. Such prominent occult influences include the work of Emanuel Swedenborg and Franz Mesmer, as well as the ideas of spiritualism, New Thought, and the Thesosophical Society. A number of mid-20th century influences, such as the UFO cult of the 1950s, the counterculture of the 1960s, and the human potential movement, also exerted a strong influence on the early development of the New Age movement. Although the exact origins of the movement remain contested, it is agreed that it developed in the 1970s, at which time it was centered largely in the United Kingdom. It expanded and grew largely in the 1980s and 1990s, in particular within the United States. Despite its highly eclectic nature, a number of beliefs commonly found within the New Age movement have been identified. Theologically, the movement typically adopts a belief in a holistic form of divinity which imbues all of the universe, including human beings themselves. There is thus a strong emphasis on the spiritual authority of the self. This is accompanied by a common belief in a wide variety of semi-divine non-human entities, such as angels and masters, with whom humans can communicate, particularly through the form of channeling typically viewing human history as being divided into a series of distinct ages. A common New Age belief is that whereas once humanity lived in an age of great technological advancement and spiritual wisdom, it has entered a period of spiritual degeneracy which will be remedied through the establishment of a coming age of Aquarius, from which the movement gets its name. There is also a strong focus on healing, particularly using forms of alternative medicine, and an emphasis on a New Age science, which seeks to unite science and spirituality. Those involved in the New Age movement have been primarily from middle and upper middle class backgrounds. The degree to which New Ages are involved in the movement varied considerably from those who adopted a number of New Age ideas and practices to those who fully embraced and dedicated their lives to it. The movement has generated criticism from established Christian organizations as well as contemporary pagan and indigenous communities. From the 1990s onward, the movement became the subject of research by academic scholars of religious studies. Definition one of the few things on which all scholars are agreed concerning New Age is that it is difficult to define. Often, the definition given actually reflects the background of the scholar giving the definition. Thus, the New Age of views New Age as a revolutionary period of history dictated by the stars. The Christian apologist has often defined New Age as a cult. The historian of ideas understands it as a manifestation of the perennial tradition. The philosopher sees New Age as a monistic or holistic worldview. The sociologist describes New Age as a new religious movement, while the psychologist describes it as a form of narcissism. Religious studies scholar Darren Kemp 2004. The New Age phenomenon has proved difficult to define, with much scholarly disagreement as to how this can be done. Religious studies scholar Paul Helis characterized the New Age movement as an eclectic hodgepodge of beliefs, practices, and ways of life, which can be identified as a singular phenomenon through their use of the same lingua franca to do with the human condition and how it can be transformed. Similarly, Historian of religion Olav Hammer termed it a common denominator for a variety of quite divergent contemporary popular practices and beliefs which, 
have emerged since the late 1970s and which are largely united by historical links, a shared discourse and an edifami. Sociologists of religion Michael York describe the New Age movement as an umbrella term that includes a great variety of groups and identities but which are united by their expectation of a major and universal change being primarily founded on the individual and collective development of human potential. The religious studies scholar Wouter Hanagraraf adopted a different approach by asserting that New Age was a label attached indiscriminately to whatever seems to fit it, and that as a result it means very different things to different people. He thus argued against the idea that the New Age movement could be considered a unified ideology or Weltan Sharung echoing the view that the phenomenon labeled New Age was not even a homogenous entity at all. The religious studies scholar Stephen J. Sutcliffe nevertheless rejected the idea of the New Age movement, deeming it to be a falsetic category. Many of those groups and individuals who could analytically be categorized as part of the New Age movement reject the term New Age when in reference to themselves. Rather than term themselves New Ages, those involved in this milieu commonly describe themselves as spiritual seekers. In 2003, Sutcliffe observed that the use of the term was optional, episodic and declining overall, adding that among the very few individuals who did use it, they usually did so with qualification, for instance by placing it in inverted commas. Hence, although the religious studies scholar James R. Lewis acknowledged that New Age was a problematic term, he asserted that there exists no comparable term which covers all aspects of the movement, and that thus it remained a useful ethic category for scholars to use. The New Age movement is the cultic milieu having become conscious of itself, in the later 1970s, as constituting a more or less unified movement. All manifestations of this movement are characterized by a popular Western culture criticism expressed in terms of a secularized esotericism. Scholar of Esotericism Wouter Hanagraraf, 1996 Those involved in the movement rarely consider it to be religion, negatively associating the latter solely with organized religion, and instead, describe their practices as spirituality. Religious studies scholars however have repeatedly referred to the movement as a religion. Hannah Graraf, for instance described the New Age as a religious movement. The New Age movement is a form of Western esotericism. Hannah Graraf considered the New Age to be a form of popular culture criticism, in that it represented a reaction against the dominant Western values of Judeo-Christian religion and rationalism, adding that New Age religion formulates such criticism not at random, but falls back on the ideas of earlier Western esoteric groups. York described the New Age movement as a new religious movement. Conversely, both Helis and Sutcliffe rejected this categorization. He believed that while elements of the New Age movement represented NRMs, this was not applicable to every New Age group. Hammer identified much of the New Age movement as corresponding to the concept of folk religions in that it seeks to deal with existential questions regarding subjects like death and disease in an unsystematic fashion, often through a process of bricolage from already available narratives and rituals. York also heuristically divides the New Age movement into three broad trends. The first, the social camp, represents groups which primarily seek to bring about social change, while the second, a cult camp, instead focus on contact with spirit entities and channeling. York's third group, the spiritual camp, represents a middle ground between these two camps, and which focuses largely on individual development. Terminology of the New Age The term New Age, along with related terms like New Era and New World, long predate the emergence of the New Age movement, and have widely been used to assert that a better way of life for humanity is dawning. It has, for instance, widely been used in political contexts. The Great Seal of the United States, designed in 1782, proclaims of New Order of Ages 
While in the 1980s the Soviet Premier Mikhail Gorbachev proclaimed that all mankind is entering a new age. The term has also appeared in Western esoteric schools of thought, having a scattered use from the mid-19th century onward. In 1864 the American Swedenborg and Warren Felt Heavens published the New Age in its message, while in 1907 Alfred O. Raj and Holbrook Jackson began editing a weekly journal of Christian liberalism and socialism titled The New Age. The concept of a coming new age that would be inaugurated by the return to earth of Jesus Christ was a theme in the poetry of Wellesley Tudor Pohl and Johanna Brandt, and then also appeared in the work of the American theosopher Dallas Bailey, who used the term prominently in such titles as Disciplineship in the New Age and Education in the New Age. Between the 1930s and 1960s a small number of groups and individuals became preoccupied with the concept of a coming new age and prominently used the term accordingly. The term had thus become a recurring motif in the esoteric spirituality milieu. Sutcliffe therefore expressed the view that while the term New Age had originally been in apocalyptic emblem, it would only be later that it became a tag or codeword for a spiritual idiom.